from the human interaction to the product to what they do, how they do it. This place is a joke. As Tracy and her staff play pirate, they don't even realize they're sitting on a treasure chest. There's 15,000 workers within a couple of blocks of this bar, and they're all looking for a place to go for lunch and happy hour. But candidly, they don't want to eat with pirates. Lunch is worth a half a million dollars to you. Happy hour is worth $300,000 to you. It makes sense? It does. So sit with me for a minute. We have to win this war, and we're not going to win this war as a pirate bar. I don't believe in throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I think there are changes that can be made. I don't think that the essence needs to be sacrificed for that. If we were in St. Petersburg, Florida, we could talk about a family attraction. There's no pirates here. So completely and totally changing every aspect of this that has survived for five years. Yes. You're living in the basement of your parents' house with your daughter. When do you say to yourself, this is my enemy? It's not my enemy. One million dollars. It's not my enemy. So Pirate's Tavern becomes yet another casualty where the soul has been removed because it's not workable. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. The soul of here. Businesses don't have souls. Businesses are profit centers. So it what becomes a martini do, bar. When are you going to get it in your head? Pirates isn't working. You're asking me to throw away everything that's in here. Do you want to be a pirate, or do you want to send your daughter to college? When I started this business, I said I was diving off a cliff with the hopes that I would grow wings before hitting the bottom. If anything flew from the skies out of nowhere to help you, it's me. If you don't take advantage of this, you'll never forgive yourself. In my wings. The reality of the situation is we're not attracting the bulk of the people around here. And it breaks my heart to see all of you look like this right now. We have to push more towards a corporate atmosphere and less towards a pirate atmosphere. Not less. Pirates is dead. I guess we'll have to play pirates somewhere else. Guys, we got to fill this bar for lunch. I got to fill it for happy hour, or we're dead. I think I'll reserve my judgment to see how well you do exactly what you say. Now, is that the kind of attitude that is going to make us successful, guys? If you don't like what I'm doing, so be it. Because I'm not here to prove myself to you. You got to prove yourself to me. Are you here tomorrow or not? Maybe I'm not. Great. Good night. You're walking out on your family because you'd rather be a pirate. I'm walking out because I've got a head yelling at me. Well, somebody has to crack through because your attitude, Mr. Pirate, doesn't work. So, are you going to be a part of this, or am I going to run you over? That's the deal. I am done with this. I am not going to be berated by some overbearing ass I'm not going to let him ruin it for you. And I'm not going to let him ruin it for you. And I'm not going to let him ruin it for you. I'm not going to put up. Look, just take this up. Get that camera out of my face. I'm done. Come on in, guys. Well, I've got him out of pirate gear. Tonight, I'm going to put this staff under some serious stress, and we'll see what they got. Can you take care of these people back here? Put these two at a two top. The flood of customers immediately puts pressure on the staff. That is your Dutch Collins. You put soda in before you shook. Yeah, you cannot do that. Get the meatballs. Stop worrying about the chicken. Give me the meatballs now. Guys, can I take a food order for you? Yeah, you already got my order, right? Yes. Uh, you still waiting uh, OK, yes, they're coming. OK, are you done taking orders and putting everything in it? Right, you I got to figure out one? where everything is real quick. So give me two seconds, please. Guys, we're crashing. Come on, we got to move. With inattentive service and an overwhelmed kitchen, customers begin walking out. Well, we've been in here for 30 minutes, and we, we, get, we, we got water, but that was it. Customers are waiting to be served. They're waiting for food, for drinks. They're getting frustrated. We are missing our drinks. 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 Me too. Back in the kitchen, Juiciano is oblivious to any of the restaurant's problems. I'm glad you're having a good time. It's your wife's business, but you're having a good time. Stop around. Pick up a meatballs, please. Huh? Pick up a meatballs, what please. What time is the kitchen closed? Juiciano, pick what up a What time is the kitchen closed? Don't ask closed. me what time the kitchen closed. I don't give closed. a about your restaurant. I learned tonight that Juiciano cannot run this kitchen. Juiciano, is this a party to you or you want to work? 
when he says do something, you do it. Get your together. That's bull. Take the meat to go. It's my kitchen. Wait. Come. Come back. And go home. I don't stay here anymore. I don't stay here anymore. The Seattle. Can you please wait? Look. I'm not talking anything with you. Let's give Jason a chance. You're out of the kitchen. Let's see how it works. I need, I, need, I need a chef. I think Jason is a very talented chef, and he knows he has a great opportunity in front of him. You want this? You got it. All right. In Juciano's absence, Jason takes control of the kitchen and tries to make a dent in the large backlog of orders. I think with me leading the kitchen, things will be a lot better. Come on, let's see how it works, OK? In Tracy's absence out in the dining area, there's even more pressure on the wait staff. Wait, Mike, I'm confused. What are you? Just, just give me a minute, please. This is bullshit. Can you breathe? We stand right here. Can you concentrate? We're crashing big time. I know. Excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. oh. The moment of truth. Either Scott, Tommy, and Greg can do this, or this is not going to go well. Wake up, guys, shakers. We got about nine minutes. I have a lot of new food. I'm not sure if I'm 100% ready, but I'm ready to give it all I got. You guys ready? All right, you guys make me proud tonight. The eager crowd is herded into the black sheep, and the orders pour in. I'll take the original salad. The original salad? Clean around the other way. 45 minutes. I've been waiting 45. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get to everybody. Yeah, hurry up. Let's go, Donnie. Move, move, move. Oh, this is uh... What cocktail is that? Don't even take it. Just put Coke in it, top it off with Guinness. Sorry, guys, we don't have any glasses right now. It's taking a very long time to get served. OK, Tommy, beer glasses. What do you want? Your beer glasses washed ASAP. I'm waiting on that, beer glasses. Jesus Christ. Peter, we got not one empty glass out there. Four glasses sitting on the bar counter, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Tommy, can I get some glasses? Apple pie. Where's the beer glasses? What happened to all our glasses? OK, beer glasses. We had 100 goddamn glasses before this thing started. We pissed. How was that us? Because that, we had 100 that goddamn was glasses That was here. your bar stop. We had enough till you come in the bar round. No. We had enough. You had, you had enough glasses. No, we did have enough. Irish boy, get out of my bar. Dude, I'll tell you what, I'm going to punch each other out in a minute. Out of my bar. I'm telling you this ain't your story. John. What happened? Well, Tommy was screaming at me. I said, just because you can't manage your bar, it's not our fault. So, so excuses, they're blaming you. Yeah. If he can't handle the pressure, that's fine. And he can't be back there. Mother Tommy totally lost his cool tonight. This was a stress test, and he failed. 500 people in there once screaming and yelling for the All right, get the away from me. So I want to be honest with you guys. Scott, what was your job in the kitchen tonight? To do what to the tickets on the way in? To check them to make sure they were correct. The only two voices that should ever happen in a kitchen are the chefs and the expediter. Scott, I needed you to really kind of be that expediter. That didn't happen. So you blew it. Greg, you didn't blow it like Scott did, but you could have been better. Tommy blew it. He couldn't handle it. He walked out on you. Ah, oh, you're back. Have you calmed down? Yep. Why'd you come back? Mostly to apologize. And I am real sorry to Peter. It was humiliating, embarrassing, and I took it out on him. I don't really want to come up here, but I invested in a pretty good chunk of money, so I'm here. I am going to make this place succeed in spite of you guys. Tomorrow we come back, all training, all day long. All right, Mike, let's see what we got back here. I mean, look at this, just tons of crap. This is one little section of this. Look at that, filth, correct? So Joe, is this rocket science to clean dirt off the shelf? No, I don't think so. I mean, wouldn't you think as a manager that would be one of the simplest of things that you would do is make sure the place was clean? Do you care about this place or are you just lazy? What's the deal? It's unfortunate. It happened on my shift 
and I take full responsibility for it. Look at that, Rick. Look at that. How many times did you look down there and pull a beer bottle out of it? Are you smiling? Is this fun to you? Today is the first day that I noticed that. You know what? Then maybe you need to hire somebody who can see. Because if you can't see, you can't work here. Pipe down, player. What? I said pipe down. Don't be disrespectful, homie. Screaming and talking loud is not intimidating. Unless he wants his furniture rearranged, he needs to pipe it down. You're spending too much time watching a band and shaking around. Go to work instead. You want to show him, we'll give you a show. You need to pipe down. This is why you're losing, because you got employees who have no respect. Whatever, yo. Look at me. Out of here, yo. Out of here. I am. Out of here, yo. You can't be serious. That's the epitome of failure right there. Look at it. <laughs> Just leave. Just leave, OK? I'm packing my <laughs> up and shut Good. the Pack up. Pack your up. Police. One employee down. Let's see how many we're left with by tomorrow. I watched her scoop ice with a glass all night long in this thing. How do I know there's not glass in the ice bin? Don't you know better than that? Yo, ain't you just send me home? Talk to somebody else. Don't you else. know better than that? This is what happens when you scoop ice out of an ice bin with a glass. Now I have to clean out the whole frickin' ice bin. I have to know that that ice bin is clean. The way I know it is I pour blue curacao in the bin, creating a blue dye. Now when that bin is clean and the blue is gone, I know my guests are safe. This is why you're failing. Because you have employees that either don't know what they're doing or are jerks. Nobody disrespects me. Don't let them walk on you. Crazy dude I've never seen before is not going to come and talk crazy to me. That was the final straw, and that's it. So this is our beverage cost. That's your beverage cost. How do you come up with the beverage count number? We just total our receipts. It's all the inventory, basically. Beverage cost isn't what you spend. It's what you consume. When I sit down to try to get their numbers, they don't have any. They don't really understand what their costs are and how much money they're losing every month. Do you not know these things? Yeah, I know these things. Are it's you not, just lazy? It's not, it's not lazy. It is. Tell me why you've I mean, chosen I'm, I'm busy, to do this. I'm busy with a lot of things here. And you know, you can't, I can't do everything all by myself. Other managers do. You can beat me up, keep, keep beating me. Go ahead. I'm you know. just exposing the facts, Carlos. That's where that. it sits. Give me that. This guy's a joke. The idea is not to break him. He's got about this much left. Why not? Why not break him? He. If you guys were alone, you'd be better off. You have debt. He has nothing. So, you know, to think that you have some obligation to protect him, man, I don't get it, Allie. This guy is bringing you down. The facts are what they are, guys. You're not picking on him. I'm picking on the facts. Because when we first started, we were too scared, too, because we didn't think we knew how to do it. And he's, he's manipulated you guys and kept you scared, to be honest with you. He has. And you have some belief that you have to have him around. There's a dependency here that, guys, it's crazy. During the meeting, there was a lot of confrontation. Carlos couldn't face it. The owners really couldn't face it either. And everybody just ran away. I'd rather just, you know, ride my bike on the beach and chill. He's, he's like, he wants me to be responsible for it. I'm like, yeah, I'm responsible for it. All right, whatever. Don't even talk to me. Just, just, just go away. Now I just want to punch him in the stomach. Deal. I went through here, and it isn't nice. Seemingly, it looks yeah. clean, though, right. doesn't it? Yeah. But then, you know, you open up the dishwasher, and you see this, and you see, you see this. That needs to be sanitized every night. Who would lead the kitchen generally? I'm strictly over here. You hear what he just said? I did. There's no such thing as, that's not my job. Why is it that the ranks were sitting out probably Overnight. all night? Big problem. We want you to come in every day and make the rice. Right, well, let's be prepared now. OK, good. This is insane. Wow. Like that. Like that. Yeah. So you see how tough this is to, to clean this, guys? See this? Tough, huh? This is this is out of control. This is crazy. I'm leaving. I'm just gonna walk out. I'm gonna get out of here. You gotta go? Yeah. Is, is this emergency? Is this uh it's just like that? Just you Yeah. Do you know about this? I don't. Mark threw his hands up and threw the towel in. Uh, I don't need to do this. Okay. That's it. I mean, literally, like, he looked me dead in my eyes and was like, I can't do this. 
he wasn't ready for all the changes that need to be made. You know what? I, I just met you, so, and, and if you I know thought what? it was gonna help, I would stay. Okay. Hold okay. on. Hold on. You want to be a quitter and walk out on this and leave him hanging? Don't pull that on me. Well, I'm asking you a question. That's what's See? going on. I just want to be straight with you. So you're going to walk out of here feeling good? What? You're not going to make me feel bad. Well, uh, Believe me. I guess there's no turning around a quitter, man. Quitters are quitters. You know what, I That's think... That's really unfortunate, man. That's just not the way to live your life. Shame on you. Wow. Shame on you, man. Wait, wait. He didn't think that anybody could teach him to be better. That wasn't a loss. Losing an employee like that is a game. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.